Hello guys, welcome back to another video. As I informed you guys in my previous video, uh, I did tell you guys that I will be doing a video regarding the breeding process and how I have my tank set up. So this is a tank set up for my baby crayfishes that are ready to be sold to the clients. Let me explain to you why I have it sectioned off like this and then how I have it like this. So look, this is a 29, uh, 29 gallon tall tank and um, they are sectioned off by these uh, little uh, organizers that I bought from you know one of the office stores and each of these containers house let's see I numbered it so this one the first one has four of them in there and the second one has four this the next one has three five two and etc so the maximum number of crayfishes that i keep in these sectioned off sections is i think five so this one has four and this the size wise this is about inch to inch and a half and that's the that's the reason why i have only four because they tend to get a little aggressive towards each other and the next one has four of them in there a little bit smaller but about the same size and the one next to it, they look like this. I definitely have, you know, the rocks and the plants so that these guys have hiding spaces because this space is so small for these guys. As well as the next one has five of them, uh, only because these guys are on the little smaller size, if, as you can tell. I don't know if you guys can tell, but compared to the other ones, a little murky on the water. But there's only five in here, and I have it sectioned off all like this. And actually... If you look here, sorry for the bad quality because the lighting is so strong. But here, the empty, the leftover space, I do have a filter, sponge filter all the way back there. There's a couple of crayfishes in here as well. And hiding spaces for these guys. However, only this section house um, injured crayfishes. Uh, sizes anywhere from half an inch to about an inch and a half. But Every one of them either has one claw missing or two claws missing. But these guys, I can sell them for you know discounted prices only because their claws will grow. For example, if you look at this guy, it's missing a claw. Or is it smaller size on, the, on one of them? Not too sure. Yeah, maybe. And I think this one is missing both claws. Super cute. And let's see. This one right here. Uh, I'm not too sure why I have it here. Uh, I think it's missing one of the claws as you can see But yes, so This is my 29 gallon tank that I have set up So that I can just pick and choose whichever size that I want to sell that I need to sell and then give it to clients so uh, leftmost those ones are the larger crayfishes anywhere from you know inch and a half to about two inches and then as you go down to the right, the size gets a little smaller. So as you can expect, so this one has the smallest crayfishes. I don't exactly sell them because they're so small, but I can. Look at these guys. These guys are super small. But yes, so this is a pretty good way for me to sell quickly because my rotation for selling is pretty quick and clients do want to see you know multiple different sizes and whatnot so I think this is the best way and if you're selling or if you're a breeder or a seller like me I definitely recommend this um this method of sectioning all these guys off like this only because they do tend to get a little aggressive and also one thing to mention is that I have the water up to right before it hits the top of the container only because these guys will you know roam around in other section and that defeats the whole sectioning off purpose and since there are so many crayfishes in this tank I do uh, water change every two to three days depending on how many how much food I feed but yeah this is how I have my breeding place set up and if you guys have any questions regarding breeding crayfishes and whatnot or how to take care of them uh, before selling them so that they don't lose claws and whatnot, let me know in the comment section. I'll, I'll definitely try to answer the questions as most helpful as possible. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.